with a film like this where you're you're weaving together uh, different people's lives and different people's storylines, it seems like one of the challenges might be to not only make sure the film works as a cohesive whole, but that each of those individual stories have have a, an arc that you can follow and 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 feel like like complete stories. Uh, what were some of the things that you did th- to make sure that uh, that that the film wasn't going in one direction too much over another and, and that there was balance, I guess, through, through all these different stories. Um, uh, I was, I was editing while I was shooting it for many years. So it's like, you know, a lot of times something would, you know, sometimes you're filming something and you're like, Oh my God, this is going to be in the film. I don't know how. And then, you, and it's like, you know, it's a moment that changes everything, you know, like Nina telling me that Zach was abusive. Oh my God, this whole film has just changed in this one moment. Um, but so by the time I had met Josh in 2017, you know, showed him a rough cut. Um, it was like, you know, had this, it was like the, the, the great, 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 great grandchild of like, you know, the first rough cut. Um, and it was like, he, he was like, why don't you take every character's story and, you know, cut it as its, as its own film. And so I did that and I came back to, and, and it was like, okay, this, okay, now, except my story wasn't working. I think that was, and we just sort of shelved that and, you know, focused on Zach, getting Zach and Kira's stories, you know, woven together, and then we figured my story out. I, you, you brought up the, the, the Zach and Nina aspect of, of this. Uh, there, you know, for, for a film like this, there's really no, there's really no set of guidelines or rules to follow when you're, when in the course of making a film, you, you discover something like that, 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 that you, you didn't really know going in. Um, did you, were, were there people that you talked to who had been in similar situations before uh, to, to sort of work through how you were going to, to handle having this information and sort of what to do in, in the position of both filmmaker and friend and outside observer as well? Uh, yeah, so I, I mean, I drew from my own experiences. So when I first heard Nina tell me that, you know, in my head, I was like, oh, fuck. Well, of course. But I was also thinking like, well, people aren't going to believe her just because, you know, if you haven't experienced that, if you, you know, see someone like Zach who's very charismatic, but like I knew like firsthand, like how a man can be one way out in public in a different way inside the household. I knew that intimately for many years. So I believed her instantly. And so that was a challenge on a storytelling sort of level. I think what I struggled with the most was the ethical, you know, sort of like what gives me the right to continue to tell the story. Um, you know, and I struggle. There were things like me, like asking her directly, you know, like how do I deal with this? Can I confront him? And she said no, so I had to like sort of follow her lead. Um, I mean, it was sort of a tough period. I took a 40-hour domestic violence class to try to, you know, get more grounding. Um, I mean, ultimately, uh, you know, and, and this is a story where we told them, like, you know, we're going to show you the film before it's completed. That helped, you know, f- make me feel like, okay, this is like, this, there's a, we're equaling out the power dynamics of what we're doing. And, you know, when Nina sees this film, she can either say yes or no, you know, or she can, you know. And then I think the big breakthrough was uh, hearing that story about Kirsten Johnson and how, you know, she had been making this film in, in Afghanistan with these two. Afghani women, and then, you know, after two years, she showed it to them, and one of them was like, I can't be in the film. And she was like, oh, shit. Uh, and so she, like, tried recutting it to where it doesn't show her, it wasn't working, and then she was like, fuck, what? And then it got her thinking about, like, what are we doing? Like, why, we're like, what are we doing when we, like, expose and capture people's stories and put them out on screen and, you know, have this economy where we, like, benefit from that? Out of that came camera person. Um, but my, my takeaway from that was like, I have to be prepared to have this film never come out if, you know, like if, if the subjects don't, if like my participants don't, aren't on board and, uh, it, it was hard. I had to, you know, and then I just like thought back to like, well, what are all the benefits of like what we've gone through already? Um, and that ultimately was like, okay, like that helped me get into that final, you know, like we're going to show you the film. And you know, like if you don't, if like I have to be prepared for the the quote unquote the worst case scenario. Uh, 